For the next part of this video, we're going to access the Execution tab. Now remember, the Execution tab will display all the events that are supposed to be submitted for a particular freight order. We are still viewing one single freight order, which is the one above here to the left in the header. And we now see all the events that are linked to this specific freight order or leg. When TM displays events, all these events are considered expected events. Any events that we add manually are going to be considered unexpected events. So let's see how we can submit first an expected event. The first thing we would do is click on edit. And now that we have clicked on edit, we see that our buttons report event and insert event are now available. We can click on them. We can also select different events and we can also access at the bottom of the page, these two different tabs, execution and note, where we can manually add the reason for this event, event code, the actual date and the actual time. Now, every time we select a specific event, we can also add a note to this event. For expected events, you cannot add notes unless you have submitted the event prior. We'll see that once we submit our first event, handover document, we'll be able to add a note. This note is specific to the event that we are selecting and will only show under this event and not the others. Do not confuse this note for the one that we were looking at under the notes tab here. Let's go back to our execution tab and now let's submit an event, an expected event, handover document in the easiest way possible, which is to simply select this event and report the event. What this will do is automatically change the status of the event. You see here now to report an event in a green square instead of a yellow triangle. And that means that this event has been submitted and reported as an expected event. Now, if you do it like this, you will see that the actual event date and event time are the ones of today. So if you want to make any changes to these dates, you can still do so because by simply reporting an event like this, what you're doing is stating the date and time that you have performed the action and not the actual date and time that this event has occurred. So to change that, you could simply do it here manually by clicking on the calendar, or at the bottom under execution tab, we could simply manually change this date and say, we received this handover document on the 14th of January instead of the uh, 16th as it was now. And instead we received it at 9 a.m. and simply click on enter and that should change the date and time of the actual event. But the status is still submitted. So this would be a way to submit an expected event, let's say, if nothing else has occurred, meaning an unexpected event. Now, in the case that there were an unexpected event that we would have to submit, we could simply insert a new event and report it. So now to finalize this submission of event, what we have to do is click on Save. Now, once we click on Save and the data is saved successfully, we can move on and submit different events. We could always go back to the previous event and make changes to the date and time if we've made a mistake. That is not a problem either. But until we save, we won't be able to report an unexpected event, which is done by clicking on insert event. Now let's say that during the handover document event, there was an unexpected event, or instead of this handover, let's do it for the loading begin. We select loading begin just as a quick refresher. Remember, if I click on report event, the actual date will be the one of today that the day that you're performing the action. So we can manually add the date or simply select the calendar and select the date from here. So let's see that the loading begins on the 14th. It's right there. We could click on enter and that will show our action performed but still insert event has not yet appeared and you see that the status has not changed yet we could report this event and now the event is also saved and okay now let's say we want to add an unexpected event let's say there was a delay in the loading begin so we could simply click on insert event and you see now a new line has appeared that shows a different type of symbol for unexpected event the event is not stated as you have to select it from a drop down. By clicking on this drop down, we will be able to see the types of unexpected events. Now, as you can see, we have unexpected events like damage, delay, but we also have a loading begin. 
unexpected event. So we could even add the same type of event, but the system would always consider it an unexpected event and not an expected event. So we click on delay to report a delay during the actual event date for the loading begin. Now the event reason here, all the way at the bottom under execution, always making sure we have our line selected, we would write the event reason. We could say delay in loading due to issue, for example. I'm just uh, keeping it quite simple right now. And now we would know that the delay is linked to the loading, or we could even add more information and say event loading begin. We could always make sure we change the date so it matches the one for the loading begin and the time as well. We can say that loading begin, we haven't added a time. We could always change that. Let's say that was done at 10 because of the delay. So we could write 10 o'clock here. So basically the way to add an unexpected event would be like this. We would click on insert event, select our event, and the rest of the process is the same as for an expected event. Once we have our information added here, we could always just save, and that will save our unexpected event, which is now shown here below handover document. Remember I said we could still edit events that we've submitted, so we could still go back to the actual time and say, 10.03, so it matches the delay time or any other real time where the event occurred. And again, save this data. So that sums up how to submit an expected and an unexpected event.